can grow YouTube show. So with touch, I think, as you said, see, we take for granted. Touch can be a very interesting sense to expand our mindfulness with plants. So in the book, I have this little chart. Uh, there's all sorts of things that you can do with your plant care routine. You water your plants, you wipe your leaves, you're gonna check for pests, you're gonna prune, you're gonna do all these things. But maybe there are ways that we can reframe these very kind of transactional actions that we're doing with our plant care routine and integrate it with ourselves and integrate it through touch. So when you're doing these things where you're touching your plants, when you're checking the moisture levels in your soil, instead of just checking the moisture level in your soil, can you have this mindful moment where you're touching the soil, you're feeling it in between your fingers, you're noticing, is it damp? Because damp means that you probably don't have to water anymore. Is it compact? How can I break it up? And then maybe how can you reflect those thoughts onto yourself? Um, when that mindful moment of seeing if your plant needs water, maybe you can take a mindful moment and see if you've drank today. I mean, how many days have we gone through where we've only drank coffee all day? Maybe we need to hydrate ourselves, or maybe there's some sort of thing that we need to hydrate our souls for. So for you, what, is touch, what does touch mean to you in your garden? I have always been an advocate. Of, I, I can't garden with gloves on. If I garden with gloves, I wind up pulling yeah. out the wrong plants. <laughs> I have learned through touch to, I could probably weed my garden with a blindfold on and understand which is the right, which is the wrong. And as you say, your touch, you're sensing moisture, you're sensing temperature, you're sensing the soil. And for me, putting my hands, digging in to the soil, feeling that warmth and that energy, you kind of know over time whether you're doing something right, just like a chef knows the exact amount uh, to stir something, the right consistency, the right temperature. It's the same thing that happens in gardens and gardening. Engaging your senses here in terms of observation comes with feel. We're a tactile species. Yeah. And that connection, we all know that during the pandemic, one of the things we lost was touch. Mm -hmm. We didn't connect with people. We didn't touch them. We didn't hug. And you miss that. And that can also be in the garden, interacting with your plants, touching, feeling that soil, not being able to connect with that space uh, or being able to connect that to space mm -hmm. is really kind of transformative. It's one of the ways we form emotional bonds with things in our lives. Yeah, I think for me, you know, a lot of plants I feel like is, re, uh, that I talk about reconnecting with plants, reconnecting with your inner child, reconnecting with that simplicity there's something when, and I highly encourage as we're here in this amphitheater, there is something that happens when you put your bare feet in the grass and you feel blades of grass in between your toes. There's an immediate relaxation. Um, not to mention you're doing something called grounding, which is connecting with the earth's energy, um, which does all sorts of wonderful things for your body. Um, but that, that engaging in touch, letting yourself have that mindful moment of, of feeling that that childlike reconnection with with the grass uh i highly highly encourage everyone to do that and right think, now i love the idea of the feet on the ground mm -hmm. so imagine the mud oozing through your toes remember that feeling when you go to the beach and it's like yeah. partly gross but you keep doing it because uh -huh. it's fun anyway and like pulling up and it yeah kind exactly of like, the suction yeah, and then the, you know wiggling yeah. your toes in the sand uh-huh you know, it's not just sitting on the beach with a drink. You want to dig your feet into the sand. That touch is very important. Mm -hmm. So make some mud pies. Get the mud in between your toes. Yeah, have get the mud fun. in between your toes. Have some fun. <laughs> also, as we go to the rose garden, how many different types of things can you feel and have that moment with it? Within one stem of a rose, you've got that piercing thorn that might bring you back, you know, into the present if your mind is running. You've got the beautifully soft petals. You have the kind of harsher... Uh, waxier leaves, you know, so you can have, you can close your eyes with that rose and have an entire sensory experience, not even smelling, right? That's what you're going to think with the rose, but really trying to train yourself to kind of heighten, heighten that sense. And one of the things that I, I love about that sense of touch is temperature. Yeah. You want to know whether your plants are getting too much sun? Feel the leaves. Are yeah. the leaves hot or cool to the touch? Is the soil warm or cold? As an orchid person, one of the biggest questions I get is, how do I know when to water my orchid? Yeah. 
and observation being one of the most important skills you can have as a gardener is a terracotta pot that's dry will feel warm to the touch. If there's moisture, it feels cool to the touch. So you can tell how much water is in a container just by touching the surface of it. So that idea of temperature and warmth, you know, mm -hmm. whether it's the warmth of the sun on your face or the coolness of the soil on your toes, yeah. uh, is very, very important in connecting with your space and the garden and grounding ourselves in that environment. Absolutely. And for houseplant parents, something if you want to do like watering 2.0, you can train yourself to just be able to pick up your, your pot and know whether or not your plant needs to be watered without even touching the soil. Because you'll start to, you know, water, pick it up, feel how heavy it is, let it dry out, pick it up, feel how light it is, and you'll be able to kind of develop a deeper relationship with your plant through just just by, just by picking it up. Maybe not for you out there. <laughs> Do 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 do